Hey everybody, how's it going? We're playing some more Sly. I think we're nearing the end of this level. Head for the castle's main gate and power down those searchlights. While you do that, Bentley and I will climb our way up to the top of the castle. Good luck. Dude, these searchlights have been the bane of my existence on this map. Those things shoot way too good. They got aim lock. Most things in this game have aim lock. I hope that general guy told the truth, or this is gonna get ugly. Oh yeah! The lights are down, Bentley. Time to call in the cavalry. I'll see if I can find some extra firepower to help out. Attention, bloodthirsty mercenary forces! The castle defense, defense is on down. down. Seize this, this opportunity, opportunity for aggressive military action, action by, by pressing, pressing an attack on the castle. Charge for victory, for glory. That should do it. Now that you're done being a warmonger, feel like paragliding over to that blimp? Just make sure to grab the rope hanging off that thing. I got you, Bentley. Hop on my back, Bentley. Here we go. I love his little legs that are just hanging off. Skirt. We could probably just hit the thing right away. We don't even have to grab the rope. Hold on, pal. This could get rough. Oh, do I have? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go ahead and get that going here. This will help quite a bit. Head for the re-education tower. Let's do it. Let's go get ourselves an education. Again. Spooky. What? The mercenaries have breached the castle defenses? All of you go! Defend this tower to the last man! I'm never gonna get over that. Don't worry, oh, my her dear. legs. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. Let me out of here and I'll readjust your face. Okay, partner. Looks like the Shadow Guard is out of the picture. You ready to free our violent little princess? Affirmative. That Iron Tech 250 is a fully integrated system. Access to Carmelita's restraints has to be in this old terminal somewhere. Let's do some hacking with the weird inverted controls like usual, but here we go. I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go. Alright, ooh, okay, this one's a little harder because they don't give me much space to play with, so this one's definitely going to be a little harder. Because really, the movement is not what my issue is. My issue is, is the shooting is very inverted, so it's a little harder to do so, but honestly not that big of a deal. If we lure them into a corner here get rid of them. I have quite a few seconds just to kind of sit here and blast away at the red bits. And it gives me just repeat that process here. And try not to get hit too many times. Right, I say that and I get whopped like four times in a row. Alright, I'm tr clearly trashed at this. No, dude! Okay, okay, you know what? Screw all of you. I'm just going straight for the red wall. I feel like this is doable if I just stop sucking. Alright, we're almost there. Once again, you can't make fun of me. I have inverted controls. I have immunity. Alright, there we go. Almost failed it, but we made it. That should do it. Ooh. Oh, grab your gun. Start firing. Aha. I've isolated the brain pattern. You and I are about to become the best of friends. Okay, new best friend. Hands up, and I mean all of them. My dear, you really should... <gasps> Shadow Guard! Shadow Guard! Come back here, you witch! Bro, she's in front of us. She shoots 90 degrees the other direction. That Carmelita. Always trying to resolve her problems with the shock pistol. She's trash. She is rather truculent. Stand clear, Sly. This might have a larger blast than anticipated. <laughs> that didn't, that didn't sound okay? very good. This, what... this is no place for an asthmatic. But I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, chaps. 
It's safely in hand. Neela? Thanks for clearing out the Contessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. Hmm, wouldn't she be enough for the old bird? Ta-ta! Bentley, take the eye and escape on the blimp. I'm going after Neela. Dude, if you only have one eye... This wasn't in the plan! <laughs> if you have one eye, your depth perception is going to be horrible. You're going to be flying your bird and you're just going like... You hitting things? Attention all bombers. Focus your attack on the Contessa's blimp. Heads up, Bentley. Can I hit her? About to come under fire. Get to the blimp's turret and stay sharp. I'm also going to totally fail this because I, I failed to... Yeah, I totally failed to realize that I was supposed to um, glide there. All right. Try number two. This time I'm going to not be dumb. Focus your attack on the Contessa's blimp. Heads up, Bentley. You're Boing. about to come under fire. And honestly, do I even have to land? I could just straight up. Maybe this was a mistake. Is she good? Okay, I can probably. Yeah, we're still good. As long as I don't get sniped by one of those barrels, I think we're gonna be fine here. And she's not. Oh! Oh, you're going in the. I did, should have did not realize that is something that I could do. I didn't know I could go inside that. Can I smack her? Let me smack you. Woo! Okay. But I wasn't able to smack her, so noted. I can't just like snatch it off of her back. That was a pretty cool little jump, though. Oh, are you already here? What's your deal, Neela? You're kind of trash at this. If we were playing tag, you would loot. Alright, I mean, she actually got me there. <laughs> Alright, that's embarrassing. Oh! Where are you going, bud? I don't want to lose you. Watch the barrels. <laughs> You're bad. You really should watch where you're going. This place is dangerous. It's like a giant tangerine. Don't you dare! That eye is mine! It's mine! <sighs> Actually, Mr. Cooper, the eye belongs to me. Nah, it's kind of cool, though. It looks like an orange. I want it. You're about to come under fire. Okay, I can do this. Ooh, I we gotta start fighting some planes. All right. Although, okay, I'm clearly terrible at this. Hello. Okay. Oh, okay, this is gonna be a hard mission because I'm already terrible at this. All right, here we go. All right, we're getting the hang of it. Here we go. Again, the vertical controls. Just a reminder. No. I need to stop laying on the sauce so heavy. I need to let my gun not not get so hot. Also, why is this blimp equipped with a giant turret? It seems a little aggressive, doesn't it? Imagine the Goodyear blimp coming up in your town and start shooting everything. You're stuck. Ooh. All right, a couple more. Did they just crash into each other? Did they knock out, like, comms or something? They're just, like, each doing their, doing their own thing? No! <laughs> I was trying to go slightly down, and I just went slightly up. Once again, I was trying to go down, and I went up. Genius. Clearly, I'm cracked with this. All right. How many more? Oh, one more. Let's try to... I, I was gonna say let's try to like do something cool with this last one, but Okay guys, I'm heading out for our rendezvous. Come back here, Contessa. That getaway blimp won't save you. This is for Hades. Sly, can you read me? Carmelita shot out the guidance system and the blimp's descending at a decidedly unsafe rate. I'm going down! 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 
Sorry, Bentley. That eye belongs to me, and I want it back. No way. You think I'm crazy? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I really don't want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing dress-up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about you and the Cooper clan. Then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. Short-sighted fool! I have no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality. I'm above all that. Above good and evil. And you think I'd give the eye to someone that's above morality? Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy and more fun to pry it from your cold, dead hand. Is she wearing pants? Is that a thing? Does she have pants? Is, is there... Okay. Is there spider pants? Okay, I just gotta learn her little movement pattern here. Okay. Alright. So she does her little fury swipes. Alright. What's going on with Bentley and Nyla? Oh, what? <laughs> You're trash. Is she not gonna do anything else? She's just gonna do her little fury swipes? Oh, I don't wanna see that. You've shown me the error of my ways. I feel sorry for you. All your education and you still don't know right from wrong. Huh? Oof! I know enough not to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. She got the eye? That's not gonna get any grosser. She's got the eye! Or any less gross. How's this thing work? What's this do? And this? Guys, help! Carmelita took the eye, and she's trying to get away in one of the Contessa's tanks! Don't worry about it, little buddy. I won't let her get away. So we got a. Whoop! So I'm guessing we can't let her. Oh, this is gonna be a rough mission. Uh, oh, I don't got this control thing like super down yet. All right, here we go. Okay, noted. Don't hit the barrels. I guess that's probably something I should have guessed, but What's this do? yeah, this this yes. actually might take a few attempts because yeah. yeah. I already heard this. Come on, bro. I wonder how many times I have to shoot her though. Maybe I can like quick scope her a few times like right away. Alright, here we go. Doing a little better this time around. Okay, okay, here we go. Tank's almost out of commission. No, no! I was doing so good. I was doing so good and I started messing up. Come back. Keep going straight. Do a little turn. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Oh yeah. There we go. I'll grab the eye while Carmelita's still stuck in her tank. Then come around to pick up Bentley for a quick exit. Let's do it. Well, you can fly. We'll all hook up at the rendezvous for extraction. That's a sick jump. There's nowhere left to run. We both know I can beat you in a fight. So why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. This is a pretty cool fight, not gonna lie. She does her swipes. And then she does her weird little stare thingy. I'm almost tempted to get hit by it just so you guys can see the animation because it's pretty cool. But I also don't feel like getting hit on purpose. Alright. Whoa! Okay, there we go. I got hit. 
And I, act and I can't actually hit back either during that, so... I hit again, jeez. Alright, just do a little... No, nope, she's gonna hit me with it. Okay, she that was actually pretty good on her part. AI definitely got me there. Can I hit you while you're climbing? Okay, yes, but no. <laughs> that I can smack her a few times. Oh, what am I doing? Why, why aren't I using my electric cane? I keep forgetting that that's like a really good move. Oh, you're trash. I didn't get in a few... Okay. Oop, that was a little... Go ahead and get that going. Darn it, man. Yeah, Cooper's on some, some, some of the good, good. You've got a strong mind, Cooper. I never would have guessed. Things hadn't gone exactly to plan. But the Contessa was beaten, and the clockwork eyes were finally mine. The Contessa was arrested and brought to trial for the crime she committed while working for Interpol. Their PR damage control went one step further by promoting Neela, the hero of Prague, to the rank of captain. Carmelita, still on the outs with Interpol, had to run with the rest of us. To my surprise and eternal delight, I got to help my favorite policewoman escape from the cops. I tried to put it all out of my mind. This claw business was spiraling out of control and I knew that my gang was at the center of it. We'd be back in action soon enough, but for now, well, we just laid low for a while. Now, please tell me we're going to my fi- Let's go. So, um, this is like my favorite level in Sly. Now, I can't say of all time because I I need to replay three and then make that judgment. But the reason we're even playing Sly right now is because one day while I was studying, I thought of uh, this level and the trains and how much fun I had as a little kid, just like jumping on the trains. So really the whole reason I started playing this again was this level. And I, now I'm finally here, so this is actually, like, exciting for me personally. Following the trail of spice shipments, we made our way up to Nunavut Bay, Canada, the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire. As a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike it rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. Miraculously, the quick freeze kept him alive, and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time, he dreams of taming the wild north, damming every river and chopping down all the trees with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Shipping spice for the Claw Gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature, and yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero, but today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like Jean Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out. <clears throat> the best level in Sly Cooper and honestly when I was like looking at a lot of reviews before the game people actually didn't like the level overall a lot of people are saying like it's too spread out and there's not like enough going on we'll see maybe I changed my mind again this is really nostalgia maybe it's not as cool as I remember All right, let's see what we got hover pack extend your jumps by hovering okay that's very useful berserk charge okay I'm pretty sure it wasn't this what we did when 
Uh, Murray was like on the drugs. And silent alert. Silent. Finish off juggled enemies without attracting attention. Oh, and that's perfect because we have three coins left. Okay, we're almost out of money. So we're going to have to collect more for sure. Let's grab Sly. Okay, well, first time on the level, y'all know what we gotta do. First things first, it's bottle time. So let's grab as many bottles as we can see. Is that a bottle? Okay, that's a bottle, but... um, Actually, yeah, let's go get that one next. Whoop, okay. Can I... Oh, okay, I was like, how do I get up there? I can just use this. Again, I just, I love the vibe, the music, just about everything that this map is, I just remember loving so much. Especially, like, again, the moving trains. Something about moving trains as a kid, just, I just loved it. So, and again, it's not about the trains, I, I wasn't a train kid, I didn't, I was definitely not one of those weirdos, but, I say weirdos, man, just let people like their trains, I guess. But, yeah, I definitely wasn't like a train kid, but I just, for some reason, I just, the trains on this map fascinated me, and I just loved jumping all over them. Really, I think as a kid, I was fascinated by open world maps that had moving things on them. Okay. But, funny enough, so I was telling you guys about how, hey, maybe we'll see when I see the level. Most things so far actually look exactly like I remember them. Which is actually kind of nuts. Usually, when I remember things, they're, I don't remember them as clearly as I do. But this map, I very much remember like it being the way that it, I see it right now, which is surprising. It, I think it that that that's it kind of shows how much I liked this level. Is that out of all of the other levels on this map, this one is the one that's still like the freshest in my brain. Just get him out of the way. Is there a bottle up here? Yes. There's usually a bottle anywhere that is high. Alright. What else are we looking at? There's not a bottle under here, right? No, but there's a barrel. Barrels have money. And again, we, well, technically now, I'm not going to need any more cash for a hot minute. Um, because I just bought everything on this map instantly. But, I should while being here gather enough money so when we go to the next map I have once again money to buy it okay, I know there's probably a different way to climb up there but I'm just gonna go ahead and just glide make it easy don't make any noise there we go oh people actually heard okay did I hear one to my left too Thought I heard one on my left, and I'm also very tempted to hop on that train. There is one here. There we go. No! Yeah, I think I can. Alright. Um... There we go. That works. I know there's a whole mechanic with that that we'll actually have to use for, like, ice climbing later. But, we're not going to use that right now. Alright, there's probably a few bottles up on these railways. How do I manage to always miss them? There's one down there. Which, we'll grab that and then we could probably head back up onto the track over here. What, you good, bro? I just had like a stroke. Are you good? I almost fell because I just wasn't paying attention. And another thing I loved about this map, and you guys will see this later, but this is like one of the few maps, well I say that, but one of the few maps where you like actually go inside like houses and stuff. I don't think I can go in yet. But I remember a lot of missions being in houses and they were just like a lot of fun. Let's see, is there... This would be a good place to hide a bottle, is up here. Wow, missed opportunity on a bottle right here. They they kept sticking them on easy places like the railways, and that would have been a good spot, because I feel like not a lot of kids would have checked there for sure. Right, 
Let's continue down the railway. But yeah, so I remember, like... Let's go ahead and grab... First time on the train! The nostalgia's pouring in. I remember the house as being, like, really fun missions. So we'll, we'll see if those also um, stay how I remember. Oh, okay. This t silent obliteration, that is a passive. Okay, another rush of nostalgia is these bears. These things aren't killable, right? They just, like, smack you. Okay, I'm not gonna even bother. I know that thing's gonna obliterate my head. So I'd rather not mess with it. Because I think it'll just kill me. Let's go ahead and sneak past it. We'll undoubt undoubtedly have a mission with them later and I'll you guys can watch me get smacked by a bear at that you know what maybe we can just like there's a piece of art with a time on it so we're not gonna grab that now all right you made a mistake bud okay I do remember I remember this part of the map too I don't remember that part though I definitely thought I could outrun it Apparently I can't. Okay, fair enough. I, I know we've gone past that little cave. Ooh, Sly 1. Haven't had this since, since Sly 1. Please fall so I don't die. Thank you. Okay, we just do a nice little walk. Uh, ooh. It's gonna be a quick one. I think I can make it past this one. Okay, that... See, this was a slightly harder bottle to get to. I almost just fell off, too. Where does this lead us, is my question. Another bottle, okay. And that got us all the way up here. Is there, like... Is there gonna be a mission here later? Hmm. Okay. I know, and the last thing that I know impressed me about this map at the time... At, please don't let me miss that. Um... Around the map, you'll see just, like, little things that clearly... They, they, they almost look out of place. Like, things like the rocks there. Which, you know, I think in our spoiled modern-day gaming, things like environment things are, like, expected. Like, yeah, you have to fill your environment. But I just remember thinking of, like, these logs. And, like, the rocks. And especially, I think there's, like, a couple of, like, glass bottles lying around near, like, the homes and stuff. Things like that really impressed me as a kid, and I just, like, the, just, the fact that there was a map, and I could hit things on the map, and, like, interact with it, I just found extremely cool. Right, let's get up here. Is this where the bottle sound was? Right? Alright, that's a piece of art that, without a timer, so I'm definitely stealing that. But, whoa! Okay, we gotta be careful of the birds. Never mind. Okay, let me go. Oh, yo, you, I'm just trying to find the bottle, man. Where did I leave that bottle? It's okay, I can keep getting smacked by them. They don't do that much help. Okay, whatever. Let's grab this. Where was the bottle? Or did I get the bottle and I just like straight up wasn't paying attention? I might have just not been paying attention, but I feel like I definitely missed it. over here okay all of a sudden okay this is where we came out of here though so we can probably continue our search uh, into this direction was there a bottle on the side of the thingy maybe not there's I remember these bear traps just little details like that I don't know why I remember them so fondly. Okay, there's a bottle over there. That reminds me of the first level of Sly 1 where we had to... Cool. Okay, that's a bottle. Uh, in, uh... The Frogman. These little, like, lily pads and stuff. This doesn't actually take me anywhere, does it? Is that a bottle or am I tripping? I think that's not a bottle. I think I'm just hearing things. Okay. 
Again, I have a piece of art on me, so I, I want to be careful because I might as well take this back in one piece, you know. There's a bottle. Yes, I do gotta remember that there are... I, I think I missed one bottle on the railway earlier. So, at some point, I should re rerun the entire railway and double check that I didn't miss any. Okay, that was... You know what? That's fine. We'll come and grab the art in a second, because I think right now what's important is to be thorough with the bottles. The art is secondary. We can grab the art anytime, and we can do it fairly quickly, too. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab... There's a bottle over here. Did I hear another bottle? No, there wasn't another bottle there. So let's go ahead and... Uh, I think I already checked all these railings. This is where... Woo, we go fast with that. Do I need to go up there? No, I think I got the ones up there. But if I don't find one on the railing, then I will go up there. Again, to double check. Okay, so now we're going back into the town here. Okay, that's the end of the railroad here. Oh, what up, bear? Oh, jumping on the train there would have been used focus! Alright, noted. Like I thought, the bear doesn't really play around. Here we go. Alright, now we can just ride the train. Let's see if we missed any bottles at some point. Ooh. Camera's not... <gasps> no! You gotta be kidding me. Wait, I can grab the back. I'm a genius. Again, man, these trains are so fun. I freaking love trains. Someone died, but I also hear a bottle. There is the one that I was missing. I, I was like, I knew I, I, I was doing some climbing. There's a bottle in here that we missed while hunting, and that is all of the bottles. Okay, well, that makes it easy then. Let's go ahead and. Let's try to get that timed art piece while we're at it. Just because we're right next to it. Might as well grab it, right? How much time? 45! Alright, these things are getting harder and harder. And I actually love to see that because earlier in the series, I told you guys how much I hated that they made these... Um, like time skills a little too easy and I see I say that and it's technically still really really easy as long as I know the general direction of where home is I can finish this with not a lot of issue well while we're at it let's go ahead and grab the rest of the I know where one other piece of art is I know there's one on the super super high ledge but didn't remember in my head well, let's go ahead and grab this one, because this one's another timed one. We just get it out of the way. How much time we got? 45, okay. But again, that difficult, because really, it's just a straight shot from here. We're home in about three seconds. As long as, long as we don't get blasted by the walking terror ambulance. Even this guy. If he hits me out of the air, it could potentially be bad. But, there we go. Alright, I think, if I'm correct, it is three per map, right? So, we know where the last one is. Figured it out. Okay, so, I need to go in that direction. So, if we grab this. Woo! Here we go. And this one's not timed. Honestly, even if they would have put, like, a 15 second timer, I think that would have been, like, a pretty cool little challenge to do. Alright, now, as long as I don't get hit from here until the house... See, like, that guy probably could have sniped me, but I'm bitter. Alright, there's the three art pieces. I'm not going to even sell them now. Alright, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call this episode. Next episode, we'll start doing the map. But today, we got all the bottles and the treasure, so there we go.